Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. Maria here. Excuse a new view. Two things. One, I've been pulling weeds all day, so I have a baseball cap and zero makeup on. The El Natural. But more importantly, I have pink eye. Yeah, I have pink eye. Cold in my eye. And I'd rather not be seen on video. Plus, you get a new view of the cards. Let me move my mouse there. So I'm reading for Cancer. Cancer. My tribe, the little water crabby patties. Tell me about cancer spirit. We are on point. I have a no and it's in the reverse. Somebody wants to revisit that no you gave them. Not in the right time. So it might be the right time now. Somebody's trying to manifest you and they're saying, please tell the universe exactly what you want so they can bring it. It's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Da, 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 da. You might be manifesting an air sign and they're saying, say no to something ish different. That's kind of what my intuition is saying. Something else that might have be revisiting. Oh, water sign. There you go. You're going to be dealing with a water sign. Somebody might be moving or you're dealing with somebody moving. Change your residence. Moving in with your partner. Holy buckets. What is happening? Cancer. Cancer. Tell me more, Spirit, about what's going on. What's going on in the world of Cancer. I got a couple of them. I saw one flip out and pull back in. It has to do with family. I have conflict in reverse. They're trying to reverse a conflict. Uh, previous one, it kind of goes alongside with that no. Um, these are clashing differences, incompatibilities, and somebody's reversing that and seeing, I almost get like a hangman, seeing it from a new perspective. And they might be saying this is something to do with um, a blockage, a parent, uh, parenthood, pregnancy. I just did a spread on somebody, um, somebody claiming somebody else is the father of their child, or um, the same reading was that the father isn't who they thought it was, which was wah, wah, wah. Okay, I have beginnings and finality in the reverse. So somebody's asking you to turn this finality around and revisit this, kind of goes with the same energy from no, and beginnings is try again, start over. It's like that wheel, turning that wheel backwards. They don't want this wheel of fortune to go forward for you, Cancer. They wanna stop that wheel from moving. I got the fear of missing out, the five of pentacles in reverse. They wanna come and revisit this. Tell me about manifest. Somebody's trying, manifesting you, thinking, longing, and it is in the reverse, so somebody's trying to get over thinking about you. I think they can't get you off their mind. It's almost an obsession. I feel it might be, um, again, it goes back to that water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, heavy, heavy on the other Cancer and the Pisces. Uh, Gemini, heavy on the Gemini, could be also a, uh, an Aquarius. I feel like you might have ended something with an Aquarius and they might be coming back. This person is saying they're feeling abandoned and they want to reverse this feeling of abandonment. They want to, um, they feel like you walked away from them and you were cold, you've been cold and they want to reverse this. They can't get you off their mind. They feel left out. Tell me more about cancer. Cancer. Divine masculine in the reverse. So you might be dealing with a bit of a narcissist or somebody who's not in their divine masculine. It's that emperor in reverse, that six-year-old sitting in Walmart screaming for that pack of gum that mom just won't let him or her have. That's the feeling I have. They're spying on you, possibly giving you some shocking news. It might even say that you know about this already. Cancer, I feel like you already know that they're trying to spy on you. And the spying could be just watching you on their phones, looking up pictures of you. Um, they might even have uh, the shocking information might be um, third parties. Also, it says turmoil, trouble, and unexpected. So I feel like the spying might even be somebody associated with this air sign or water sign um, that is trying to jump on your uh, platform, your page, and uh, they're stalking you a little bit, trying to figure out who you are, um, trying to get you back, or trying to get um, even. That's another vibe I get off this manifest, but trying to manifest you back and this jealous person is uh, feeling a little bit left out in the cold. They could be dealing with an air sign, that heavy Aquarius feeling hopeless. They're feeling hopeless. Look at that picture. Ah, oh, like it's got 
um, tower written all over it, like a tower fell and they're feeling like they're sinking in despair, falling apart without you. This um, air sign I feel has a little bit of an obsession, possibly a bit of a disturbance or an imbalance um, that might need to be revisited by a professional. I just feel like this is beyond a, a typical love. It's almost like a love potion or some kind of obsession or, or I don't know, like tie to you. Um, they won't let you out of their mind and their sight. This is kind of an overwhelming feeling. Tell me more about this air sign. This is especially if this is a past lover. See, intuition. Use your... They're going to say they have a te telepathic connection with you, and you might. I feel like this person might be at a distance. Um, they have an inner knowing, and it could be a distance in emotion. You might have even blocked this person. Uh, water sign. Uh, cancer. I'm, I feel like you might even have cancer in your placements as well if you have something else and you're watching this because you have cancer in your other placements. This might be your water sign that you're distant from. I don't feel it's a direct cancer. <coughs> They're gonna say that you, excuse me, have a like a soul tie or a twin flame connection. They might send you music. They might send you music that makes, um, them, that you have in common or remember each other, like words to a certain song triggers them and then they'll send you or afford you that, that music. So that's the vibe I get. And they're trying to keep this connection alive and they're feeling hopeless because they can't get a hold of you or they don't feel connected with you right now. Um, you're breaking that, telap the telepathy. <laughs> the telepathy and the telepathy is that inner knowing that you can feel them. You can feel them. And I do believe that's genuinely um, a soul tie that you might be dealing with with this air sign. They're saying, it's this is the one day is almost like right person, wrong time vibe. And that they're, um, they're saying it's just not the, you, this, you might be telling this person it's just not the right time. Or you might've already said this to this person. I feel like you close this out. Um, you, you wish it would work. I think cancer, if you're dealing with this air sign, this air sign is going to come in, I feel, and try to get you back or at least try to manifest you, maybe send you a letter, a text. Um, they might even hit you up on your page in a comment under a fictitious name because they are spying on you. And it might be shocking when you see that, that you're like, oh, that makes sense now, you know, and they might have had multiple fake pages trying to um, reverse this finality and just kind of watch you to see what you're uh, what you're doing. Family was definitely a block. I feel like a mother figure of this air sign didn't approve of the relationship or something to that effect. Um, that's part of it. Maybe one or two people, maybe. Um, it's not a lot, but it's a pretty significant message. Um, moving. Somebody is changing residence and they're, or they're trying to generate a relationship with you. You, uh, Cancer, might have a different plan. I, I kind of just get with this no reverse and trying to manifest something different. This person's trying to manifest you. It looks like you're moving on to something else. You're trying to work on something much greater to you, something that's going to feed you down the road. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Confession. They're going to come forward and unveil, uh, coming clean. They're going to, they're going to, I, I just said this too, this messages. They're going to send you messages. Look at that. It said it is a confession. <clears throat> now my throat's shutting up. <laughs> they don't want to tell, they want, they want to keep this a secret. I get this sense that this person's going to come in and kind of have a conversation with you, uh, cancer, that they've always loved you. They want to have a relationship with you. And I think they're going to come clean with the BS that they've been doing behind the scenes that you don't know about. Um, and it is like right person, wrong time. It still might be the wrong time, cancer. For this, for this person and you to get together, whether or not they're a water sign or an air sign, I'm not sure. I feel like you're closing it out with an air sign. Um, they, I feel like you're like, again, you're going forward trying to manifest something different. It could be um, a commitment. Now, several of you, this is a whole different line, is several of you are um, manifesting a relationship with an air sign and you're, of course, the water sign. I think this is just confirmation this is your energy cancer and that you might be in a conversation with somebody about a higher level commitment and they're telling you how they feel you know um you might have felt like this whole situation was hopeless etc 
But um, now that you're you're thinking and they're thinking and you're trying to revisit this relationship, um, this information might be um, a little overwhelming what they come and tell you that they've been spying on you and they've been thinking about you 24 seven and that you're trying to generate this relationship and they are as well. So it's might it might be a mutual relationship between you and this air sign. Different different path here. And forgive the noise, my kids are walking in and out. Um, so we have commitment, marriage, promise, fidelity. This person, um, I'm just going to speak to a handful of you Cancers. Cancers, you've been dealing with another sign. I feel you've just closed it up. You've, you've wrapped that done. You've gotten, you've put the cycle behind you and you've been single for a while. You've been sitting and thinking about your next chapter. You might've been dating. You might be on dating apps. You might be talking to some folks, but as you're moving forward, you're really kind of hesitant on jumping into the next chapter until you know it's the right thing. You've been burnt back here. You don't want to revisit those, those dark chapters. You don't want to revisit um, cycles that you've closed. I don't think you're going to generate relationships from toxic uh, partners in the past. Yeah, you're looking for intimacy. That in and out, um, hit it and quit it is gone. You're looking for something long term or at least least intimate. If it's not long term because of time, age, distance, but you're looking for that connection, right? You're looking for a deeper level of commitment on a, on that connection, which kind of got, goes right back into this. And Cancer, I feel like your next chapter, and it could be um, this Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that's coming in. If it's not your past person and a new person that's an air sign, they're looking for the same thing. They want a commitment along with intimacy, and they're going to confess this to you. They're going to tell you that they've had, um, they've had feelings for you for a hot minute, right? That they think you're the cat's meow. That's pretty cool. Um, you're excited about this, I think. Cancer, you're looking for something new and you're looking for something relatively matching your energy. I don't think as an empress or an emperor, you're looking for a page. I think you've done the page. You, you're you're turning that page, but up, bump, right? So like you're, you're not going to revisit. Um, there's some resistance on considering um, this person. I believe that you are connected spiritually to this person as a soul tie. Um, lots of very strong soulmate energy in this read. Um, and this is like a connectivity. There's little Sophie. They're walking the dogs tonight. Um, and you might have some some resistance from the secret admirer. This person who's sitting in the wings waiting for you to take a breath is wants to come in and tell you how they feel about you because they've been sitting here in the space of quiet like sidelines for a while, just watching you, watching your page, watching your platform, watching the, all your posts, your positive posts, posts to pictures. Even if it's of a cheeseburger, they're like, oh, what a cute cheeseburger, right? So I feel like this person is connected to you. Um, so you have this obsessed past person for a handful of you that are trying to get you back and you're moving forward and you might need another water sign or a possible air sign. That's a handful, a very large handful of you that are trying to get over a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. It's heavy on the Aquarius in the past, right? It's a little darker. This energy over here has a history on it. And this is fresh. This other side of the coin that I'm reading for is a large group of Cancers that are either connecting with another water sign or a new air sign. Brand new, brand new, like fresh relationship. No history. It is clean. It is innocent and you're looking forward to generate and you are matching each other on that vibrational pattern. This is not old to recover to new. This is new, no history. So hopefully this makes sense. So there's two different reads here, but it's pretty pretty clear. It's pretty clear. Um, somebody wants a family and a, a new beginning. Um, this There's some karma involved and time and cycles trapped in pride. So this person I feel going back to the original um, cancer, this might be you. So take it as a resonate. There's some karma. I'm sorry to say this, but the things that are holding up this person to coming in, or this might be you from going to the Aquarius, is you have some past karma to close out. You are saying right person, wrong time. You're in a current commitment you feel like you need to close, and you're some pride that may, are stopping several of your people from coming forward and making an apology and making it right. So those are the barriers to the previous relationship moving forward. This is a past, this is past uh, BS that's got to close out for it to move forward for this first crew. The second crew, it looks like soulmates and the resistance is just, it's surprising, right? It's a surprising new love. And I, I feel like they've been a secret admirer. They've been quiet. They've been like, I see a wallflower standing on the wall, smiling, just watching you uh, progress. 
watching you do your craft. They can see you. I feel like they're watching you on your page and they've been quiet. Uh, this past person, you've had arguments, stress. Oh, look at the stress. Look at that. And there's financial burdens. I feel like there's commitments that got to be closed out. There might even be a divorce that somebody's dealing with. Arguments, tension. Tell me about the new relationship. Tell me about this new relationship for the squatter sign. One card. Okay, I'll take this one too. I have breaking point and heart fog. You might be... Yeah, you might. Yeah, that's the same card. Heart fog and breaking point. Mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up, limit, final straw, and overwhelmed. Um, water signs, all water signs. This, I think, resonates with everybody. This kind of the vibe I'm getting uh, for also Scorpio and for Pisces. But Cancer, I feel like you might be at the breaking point that something's got to give um, with you because you're moving forward. And this heart fog is, I don't know if you trust this person. See that heart hidden in the mirror? kind of like written with the finger. I kind of get the, uh, the, now forgive me, this has kind of got a negative connotation, but it's more like reluctance, resistance. Like you just made, like I said, you just closed out a cycle and I don't know if you're really willing to jump into something new. You're a bit hesitant in moving forward. Um, so that breaking point is again, the back, the back level, the back, this, the more it should be over here. Cause it's like, you're giving up on, on this person. And I think it might be you cancer. I kind of get the vibe that you're ending something as well. There's a handful of cancers that are trying to get out of this commitment that they don't want to be in. It's reached its limit. It's at its breaking point And they're trying to get the hell out of whatever the hell they're in saying enough. And you're trying to generate a new relationship either from this water sign to, or excuse me, from this air sign to a water sign, or you are exiting whatever this was into a water sign. Or an air sign, I guess. It could be either. I feel like it's more of an air sign. All right. Anything else for cancer? And I got to be real with you, cancer. If it is you, you this thing's been played out for a while. I feel like you jumped in after having your heart broken. You didn't share that you got your heart broken. You haven't manifested anything uh, real, but as kind of... Uh, like a rebound, you jumped quickly into a new relationship that escalated into a solid commitment. And you're like, this is not for me. It doesn't serve me. It's reached its point. I'm, I'm not enjoying, and there's nothing here for me and vice versa. There's no equal give and take. And, um, I feel like I just need to move on. And that's part of the moving is you're moving from one person. I feel closing out the cycle, but I feel like you live with this person and you might be moving into somebody else's location and starting a new relationship. That's a part of the relation. That's part of the vibe I get. Not all of you. I'm a cancer. I live with my kids. You know what I mean? So that might not be resonant for everybody, but for a handful of you, I think you're manifesting a new relationship and it could be between an air sign and a water sign. I don't know. Um, anything else for cancer? I don't feel like there is. <clears throat> Nothing. Okay. Bottom of the deck is memories. Yeah, that's the vibe I get is twofold. One is you're thinking about the memories of this past person that you want to generate a relationship with. And you're also thinking about what's gotten you through this current relationship and it just doesn't hold water anymore. Pardon that pun. Too. Tell me more about cancer spirit. Let's see what the Rider White deck has to say. I've been pulling weeds all day and I'm telling you what, <clears throat> my allergies are kicking my tail. Three of Pentacles, want to have a new relationship, a commitment, lots of options. They're concerned you have options as well. Uh, temperance in reverse. So this person, forgive me, Cancer, but you have to understand it's conflict of interest. Ooh, they hidden, hidden, hidden in the midst of the, of the cards is the Emperor and the 10 of cups. That's kind of the hiding on the wallflower kind of feeling. So that might be your person cancer standing in the, in the wings waiting for their opportunity to come in. And this person sees you have many, many options and they wanna have a relationship with you, but it lacks in balance. It's almost like discord, conflict of interest. They gotta close out one cycle to come towards you for a handful of you. Several of, of you might have instability. Um, they might be dealing with if I see a devil card, it's going to be more like addiction or third party or codependency. They got to close out. Um, the six of pentacles is they're willing to invest the time. This is a lot of abundance, cancer. This is a lot of abundance coming in your way. So this person historically, 
Um, if it's a past person, um, it's, um, well, I get, I'm kind of getting two messages. If it's a past person, they're going to be willing to share more with you than they have in the past. But I think this is your abundance. Cancer, you are coming into an abundant period of your life. You've got, like, I'm not even kidding. Your last cycle nearly, like, took a lot of you out. This one is a lot calmer. It's like the worst is behind you kind of vibe. And so as you're experiencing these glow-ups, this passion, this financial success, you're going to have way more in your pocket to share and distribute amongst the masses. And Spirit's saying, don't be afraid because this person isn't here just for the cash or even for the cash or for your abundance, but you, so you can feel safe to share. And it's about giving and receiving. And I always say, my mom used to say, you can't outgive God. And I love that because she might have $10 to her name and give eight of it to a homeless person. So she has $2 to give to my kid, my kid brother for lunch or have a biscuit in the morning at school or something. And I'm like, mom, that's your last 10. And she'd be like, I don't care. They need to eat just, we have food in our kitchen. You know, that sort of thing. This is a brand new passionate, passionate relationship. This person's going to make you feel like the star. If you're not, if the star doesn't come out, it's uh, you, you're looking to create something. There's a new creation, the birth of a relationship, but it's also a high energy. It's high fun, high laughter, trust. It's just innocent. And it's very passionate. This person has a lot of feelings for you. There's that two of wands. So we go from the ace of wands to the two of wands. So they're moving forward. They're making a decision, right? And they're going to have a conversation. I'm sorry, it's not the two of wands. It's page of wands. So they're going to have a conversation with you about uh, this. It's going to take some courage for them to come forward, Cancer. I feel like they're coming forward to talk to you about um, where they're going. They're, I feel like the page of... You know, the page of wands is like that free spirit. We can go anywhere. We can just grab our pack back, backpack. It's very much a Sagittarius-like vibe. I want to be adventurous. I want to just enjoy life. Um, Free-spirited, enthusiastic. And it also means recovery. So whoever this is that's coming out of this crap storm, they're seeing you as part of their healing process or healing journey. Tower in reverse. Thank you, God. So the tower in reverse is, it is... Um, trapped it is confinement it is locked in old ways it's weak foundation it's avoiding but but let's talk a little bit about that because it's not in the it's in not in the upright so it's in the what i said to, like five minutes ago or three minutes ago i said it's in the past it can't hurt you so they feel trapped it doesn't mean they are trapped it just means they feel trapped there is no out it goes back to this hopeless feeling you know wherever it is this i feel like here this this feeling i feel trapped right? I feel like I can't get out of this situation. I can't come forward. I can't talk about my feelings. Um, I feel abandoned. I'm thinking constantly about the situation, this old person. And it might be the same person, but I don't feel like, I think there's two people in your energy, cancer. Um, it's hopeless. And they're think, like I said, they're, they, it's like an addiction. They can't get you off their head. And this person feels like they can't come forward and talk to you. It is a king of pentacles. Um, and I feel like this person is trying to generate the, I don't know, the courage because they're afraid you're going to reject them. That's what this whole vibe is about is you're going to reject them and I'm feeling trapped. I'm stuck in a place. I'm living with this person. I can't come forward to talk. Um, I have nowhere to go. I would love to move in with you, but that's a little bold because um, together we'd have more enough, more than enough. But I'm afraid that if I bring this forward to you, this is the other person's energy, mind you. Um, this is what they want, right? But this is how they feel. Quite a bit different, right? They feel like like they're going to be rejected. And there's too many obstacles. It's like the nine of wands feeling. So tell me more about this tower spirit for cancer. <clears throat> yeah, nine of, pentacle, nine of pentacles in the reverse. And this is an upright deck. Again, knight of pentacles coming forward. Um, the nine of pentacles in the reverse is somebody's frivolous for their money. They have poverty. That's the mean. They're, they're lack. They don't feel like they can make it on their own. They have bad faith. They're feeling like they have negative karma. They feel like they did something. They screwed this, this past person, screwed this relationship so bad, they're going through karma. They are dealing with karma. And they, you know, not even kidding. They feel like they can't do anything correct. And to be fair, they might be. That might be the truth. They feel like they did something, lied, cheated, did something. Um, yeah, they feel like they're completely under judgment. And they might be. This might be a very true statement for this person. 
And all karma is, is the consequence of previous actions coming to fruition. And that, this person is dealing with a lot. They feel abandoned. They feel like they're in a black hole, like they're in their own prison. They're going to do a self-assessment. They're going to try to do a, like an atonement, their um, apology that they're going to come forward fast and try to make this right. There we are. I can't make this up. Right on time too with what I'm saying is the chariot coming in fast, cancer energy. Um, the six of, six of wands wants to be successful and uh, victorious and the chariot rushing in to have this fool and that's a brand new beginning. It's a zero. See the zero on the top, meaning it's a brand new page. They want to close the cycle out and start a new one. And just like a fresh beginning, can we put the past behind us? Can we, can you forgive me? Um, what can I do? I'm, I'm completely an idiot. You know, I don't, I don't know. I feel like they feel under judgment. Yeah, I have the six of cups in the reverse. So that is strife under, uh, strife arising uh, from vanity. So it's ego, it's thanklessness, which again is lack of gratitude, cynicist, independent, and unforgiving. They feel like you're going to rub it in our face. They feel like you're going to be unforgiving. And quite honestly, they go back and forth. It's almost like a Jekyll and Hyde is one minute. They're like, there's no way cancer is going to forgive me for all my actions. And on the flip end, they're pissed off that um, they're in this situation. And sometimes I feel like they blame you, which is stupid because it's their behavior that put them in the spot to begin with. I don't know. Uh, okay, so they're gonna sit in it for a little longer. Sorry, Cancer, they are. They're gonna sit in it for a little longer and they're gonna think about their um, how to come forward. They're really struggling with fear. They're also struggling with pride. Um, this is a very immature person who hasn't elevated completely yet. And it's not anything wrong with that. We've all been there. But this person's, their barrier is their ego. They can't just swallow their pride and say, you listen, I'm a dumbass. I shouldn't have done that. Um, here we go. Boom. You're, this is your energy cancer. You close the cycle out a while ago. It's a 10. You move forward. And this person wants to jump on this wheel. Um, it's going to take them strength to come forward and have this conversation with you. Yeah, you're moving forward. You are. What's behind, behind that? Oh, yeah, you dropped this. Yeah, you dropped this. You might revisit it if this person comes forward um, straight, like clean. You know what I mean? Like comes clean with their shenanigans. Um, they're afraid. Look at this. They're afraid. Oh, my gosh. They're sitting in their hangman. I just said this. I just said this, Cancer. They are full of fear. They have a ton of financial challenges, emotional challenges. They might be without a job. They might be without a car, no stability, and they're afraid they're going to argue with you some more. And these are out fights, actual fights with other people. So they might be fighting with family. They might be fighting with um, loved ones that are saying, go and apologize to cancer already. Make it right. If you love this person, go in. Um, and they're stuck. They can't move forward. Tell me about this new love for cancer. This other person that they're waiting on. Hello. Did you see that? Oh, that's rushing in too. And that is justice. <laughs> <laughs> I love tarot. I love tarot. So we have justice. So this justice of this new person that's rushing in might be, and that's right on time, right? It's right on time. Um, and that might be shocking to your old person. Like you might be moving forward and that might be why they feel they're running out of time and they're repeating the cycle um, and feeling the karma because you have a new beginning, right? You might be going through a new beginning and uh, facing uh, possible new family, right? And they put themselves in a position to feel trapped. That might be a lot of this. Um, I think they're going to close out this other person and come rushing in. They realize you were the better choice, the better option all along, but unfortunately they didn't take the move. They are feeling the stress of these nine wands. Yep. Going to crash on their head. Cancer. Tell me more about cancer and the new person. Tell me about the new person. Yeah. I have the six of Six of Swords and this Ace of Cups. This brand new relationship is going to take you to a place of peace and prosperity. That's what this is. It's not that they're going to take you away from strife. You're going to feel like it's healing from this past situation, this new opportunity. And you, I believe, may take them up on this. This new one is fresh. There's no history. There's no hard feelings. There's nothing to restore. There's nothing to heal. Um, this, though, might actually help you heal from that. Let's talk about this a little bit more. Tell me more about this new relationship for Cancer. Yeah, 
I think you're making a choice. It's a death and a rebirth. Death of uh, the previous relationship or a rebirth of the previous relationship. One of the two are gonna happen and you're making that decision I feel this week. I'm leaving it out with a five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck in the reverse, meaning money regained. It's this feeling again. Cancer, you're coming into an abundance. You're coming into a new relationship. You're coming into better, just a more stable time. Like I said, the worst is behind you and you can't make this, you can't make this up. I love tarot. So this means like you're coming into money, you're coming into better prosperity and this other person's gonna be sitting in a feeling of lack. That's part of the, the wheel moving forward, right? Nothing wrong, it's just how it goes. I just opened it up to the uh, uh, Page of Cups, a conversation about new love, to an Ace of Pentacles, brand new commitment. I can't make this up. Okay, angel number, because I'm way over time, and I'm sorry I can't this is so long. It's like a personal read. My apologies. Tell me about Cancer's number for the week, please. Number for the week for Cancer. What guidance can you give Cancer, please? 14, I am practical. You are open-minded and always up to something new. It's that Sagittarius energy. Yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This fragmented approach, excuse me, my apologies. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. One in four. That is a beautiful read and great insight for this reading and this spread, Cancer. If you see a combination of a one and four, a 41, whatever, um, that is your spread for in your angel number for the week. Lastly, if you're interested in a free reading, I'm doing a drawing. This is only a handful. I have like thousands and thousands and thousands of people. I'm pulling five, true story. I'm pulling five um, lucky uh, commenters with a real name and you have to be subscribed. I'm giving away five free readings, five. That's a $75 value. If this resonated with you and you want more personal information and you don't wanna take the risk of not being pulled for a free reading, please email me at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com or you can surely text or call 720-282-9570. That's Fourth Dimension's phone number. Um, or email me at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com and we'll get you scheduled for a reading as early as next week. Love and light until midweek reading. Take care. Bye-bye.